few years ago on GCC Results Day, I had one of my best students come up to me in tears because for her chemistry, and this is the day when there were three exams for chemistry, she'd got a 99, a 98, and a zero. And the exam board had lost one of her papers. Now, this does happen because the exam board needs to process millions, probably millions of papers. You, you will do however many exams and there'll be however many papers sat in the exam. They will need to go to a place, be counted, be sorted, be chopped up and be scanned off to be marked. They do not just get delivered in a post to the person that's going to mark them. They need to be processed. So mistakes can happen, but the important thing is how we deal with those mistakes. So if on results day there is a big fat zero for one of your papers that you know that you definitely sat, this is what you need to do. So mistakes can happen, things do get lost, but the good news is that the exam boards have lots of procedures in place to, well, try and stop this. So this is a very rare occurrence. But the problem on results day is that your schools, your colleges, your universities, your sixth form, wherever you want to go next year, will have had the results the day beforehand. They probably won't have seen the oddity where you got a zero for one paper. They will have just got your overall results, your overall grade at the end. And based on that, that is what they're going to make the decision on to whether to give you a place or not. So very, very likely your place, your place for next year is going to be disrupted by having a zero on a paper by the exam board, having lost one of the papers. Now, the first thing you need to do is get hold of your exams officer. Now, this is probably a person you've never actually seen before because, well, apart from entering you for exams and dealing with problems, you don't deal with them on a day-to-day -day basis. But there should be some teachers in school, hopefully ones that you recognise, ones that you like, Go and find those, explain to them very quickly the situation, and then they will help you find the exams officer. The exams officer will get in contact with the exam board and they will start to deal with that process for you. But it doesn't just stop there because what you need to do is to get in contact with your schools, your universities, your sit on colleges, wherever you want to go to next year, who have made the decision based on a potentially lower grade with this lost exam paper. You need to get in contact with them and ask them to hold your place to keep that place open um, while you deal with the situation of a lost exam paper. Now, there is no requirement for universities, schools, colleges, system colleges to keep that place open for you. Um, if there's no law, they don't have to do this. They've made the decision the day before based on the results that the exam board gave them. And if the exam board has given them a zero, then that's what they've had to work with. That's what they've had to make the decision based on. So you need to get in contact with them. You need to explain to them very, very quickly and then you need to ask them very, very nicely to keep that place open for you. And you need to cross your fingers that their place will be kept open. Um, you need to really, really like talk to them nicely, try and convince them to get the place left open. And then potentially you need to get them talking to the exam board to find out what's going on there. You need to get them talking to the exams officer who will confirm, because they do take registers, that you were in the exam. Um, so you can't do this kind of like, oh, I missed an exam, I'm doing a lie, so I was in the exam. Schools have registers for this very reason. The exam boards keep all of the papers so that they can go through and find that paper that has been missing. And it might just be an admin error that gets fixed really, really quickly that, you know, for some reason it was marked, but it wasn't logged. Um, lots and lots of things like that can happen. Um, but do not despair. All is not lost, well, apart from your exam paper. The examples have lots of producers in place to go and find your exam paper. Your school will have dealt with this situation before. Um, it's not very, very common, but it is sort of things they do have things in place to deal with. And then hopefully your school, your university, your sixth form college where you want to go next year will be understanding and will still let you get this place. Um, I am going to be here with you every single step of the way for both GCSE and A-level results days. I'm going to be here answering your questions for you. So just let me know what you need me to do for you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches. <laughs>